Hello, good evening, everybody. I want to know whether you can hear me. Thank you for joining. I can hear you. Cape Coast. So, what you want to do is whilst we are waiting and admitting more people to join, we want you to check your chat box or yes the chat session and then introduce you, you introduce yourself your name your profession and where you are joining from i've already introduced myself over there so you can follow the procedure we will start soon thank you very much Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
this again. Hello, good evening. 2525. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hi. Good evening. Yes, uh, Michael, we are about to start soon, so just give us a minute. All right. All right. Just a minute, let me start. All right. All right, so let me repeat this. Um, those who have joined, just check the chat box and then type, just introduce yourself, your name, and then where you are joining from. You can add your profession. So do that for us. We cannot let every one of you um, do this. So just type, type at the comment section for us. Thank you very much. All right. We are about to start soon. Um, It seems the chat box uh, is closed also. Yeah, that's what I'm observing from here. I'm observing that here. The chat channel meeting is only available to team members. Hi. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Uh, yeah, good evening. I want to know if the meeting has started. 
Um, they said, the organizer said we should wait, that they are still waiting for a little time. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Hello, please, can anybody hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right. we can. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, yes, I, I can, can hear you. you. Very good, thank you, thank you. We are starting now. I want you to mute yourself so that we don't um, get interference from your background noise. Um, we are picking up that some of you are watching videos, some of you are also talking about family matters. We don't want to hear that. You don't want anybody to hear that. So just mute yourself and then let's begin. My name is Maxwell. I am the project coordinator for both Central and Ashanti regions. We also have other coordinators who have joined us. We have the coordinator for Eastern and then Western region, Bridget Ajay Minsa. Bridget, if you are here, let's hear from you. Hello, I'm here. Right, thank you. We have the coordinator for Accra, the whole of Greater Accra, Harriet. Harriet, if you are here, just um, let's hear from you that you are here. Hello. Oh. Oh. All right, thank you very much. Um, we have the coordinator for the whole of um, Northern region, Savannah and uh, you know all the regions in Northern region, <laughs> so to speak. Um, Aziz. Aziz is on the way. I think he, he doesn't want um, too much noise at the at the background. So I think he's trying to adjust himself. But I'm sure we have some of you from the um, northern and then Savannah areas who have also joined the meeting. The meeting is for the entire learners in the, the whole the whole Ghana. Um, there is a project coordinator in Winneba who is by name Roxon. Roxon, if you are here, let's let's hear let's hear from you. Okay, Roxon has not joined yet. So. All right. So please, uh, we wanted you to type your names and then we get to know you. But it seems, I don't know whether that's not working. So we devise a different means to um, get you to introduce yourself. Uh, but for now, the child we want disabled. That's right. He's disabled. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll work on it, but for now, um, let us just as we said, mute yourself. And if you want to say anything, you raise your hand. Um, we were supposed to be joined by the project project manager by name Jamil, who is a, who is who is managing this project in the whole Ghana. I'm getting feedback from somebody. Please mute yourself. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, he's not able to join us, but he is. He has uh, find a way, a very nice way to still reach to us. So before you go on, uh, we want we want you to know why we have gathered you here. It's a training, so why we have gathered you here. Madam Bridget will tell us why we have gathered you here, and then we move on. So, Bridget, if you are here, just. Um, Go on with why we are here. <sighs> Hello. Bridget, if you can hear me, unmute yourself and then um, purpose. Hello, Bridget. See, I'm having problems. Yeah, so. Yes, yes. Please carry on. We have been waiting for you. Oh, okay. All right. Good evening, everyone. One second. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um. I wouldn't waste much time. I hope we all know about reach scale. So since we are all on this platform, I'll assume 
we all know about Rich Skill. It's being sponsored by the Commonwealth of Ghana in collaboration with the Ghana Library Authority. Um, the main aim of the library is to disseminate information for everybody to get information and then be able to learn and acquire skills. That is why we brought this thing on board. So our main purpose for today's gathering is to train learners on how to be able to complete their courses and then share their success stories with us. We know some people because of some privacy issues and also they don't want to share some of their success stories with us and then how they are going. But we want to encourage you. This meeting is purposely for us to encourage you and then other learners to share how the success story has helped them. So in case that when we ask you of your success story or something, you wouldn't end up fumbling or maybe you think that maybe you are using it for any fraudulent act, but it's for the success of the project and for your success as well. I know when you share your success stories with us and somebody happens to see your success story and you happen to go and ask for a job or seek a job somewhere, definitely the person knowing that you gained something from the Ghana Library Authority or you've worked or you've um, had an online certificate with the Ghana Library Authority will make the person know, oh, okay, uh, this person was able to learn through this project and acquire this particular thing. So it will as well pave uh, greater ways and opportunities for you as well. So our main purpose for today is to encourage in and each and every one to complete their courses, as well as share their success stories with us. Thank you very much. Thank Hello. you. Thank you, Madam Bridget. Thank you for um, sharing the purpose of this training for us. Um, our project manager, Jamil, was supposed to join us, but he couldn't. He found a way to reach us too. So uh, he's talking about the need to share your success story. We know most of you have completed courses. Some of you are return learner sponsors um, and you've not been able to share your stories. Uh, some of the names that I'm going through, I have known you way back. So it's like you are back and you haven't shared your story. We want to um, let you know why or the need to share your success story. And Jamil has recorded a video, I think it's it nine minutes video on how you can do that. I'm going to share my screen with you and then play that video with you. Um, if you see my screen, then you tell me you can start. Um, window. I'm trying to share my screen um, with you. Let's see, can we share it via? Um, please, if you can see my screen, you tell me. Yeah, I can see. Can you give me feedback if you can see my screen? I can see it. Okay. Yes, I can see it. All right. Um, can you hear? Yes, I can see. It. I can see. Each and every one of I can't see the screen. In real time, I have to take care of some other quite important uh, issues. I wouldn't like to bore you too much in this video, so I would like to go straight um, on what 
things should be alright. Two things I'd like to touch on. One is the importance for us to share our progress um, as a country, as a business, so far since the project started. And then um, second, to also kind of let you know why it is important to have you share your success stories with our regional coordinators. So one, uh, the importance of sharing our success stories and then the other which will be for us to be able to assess our progress. So in line with assessing our progress as a country, but any other project is important to be able to assess yourself to be able to know how well you are performing and as a result it is very much important and to kind of share this with you learners to be able to know our progress by so doing we'll be able to know how best we could uh, improve on our activities and put in measures to be able to be able to serve you the public or our patrons better so with statistics since the project started in 2019 so far we've been able to allocate our 44,000 licenses to Ghanaian citizens of which we've had close to 70 to 80 percent of them completing and receiving their certificates from courses completions. When you do the statistics, you get close to 35,000 to 6,000 people being able to complete on their courses and then receiving certificates out of the 44,000 licenses that we've so far allocated to learners. Um, a breakdown of that leaves us as to close to 9,000 to 10,000 people receiving licenses and not being able to take advantage of them for one or two reasons. One being finding it difficult to be able to purchase data and complete their courses. Two is because some of them tend to enroll so much or so many courses at the same time and as a result uh, they are not able to complete any. Three will be due to the fact that the kind of input from email addresses during their uh, application stages um, as a result it's their email void or inactive because even if invitations are sent they are going to be able to receive it so these are some of the issues i would like to kind of bring to your attention when you are applying next time and to also let you know that the program ends on 31st of december 2020 to this year, so I would like to encourage you all to do your best and to complete courses as quickly as possible and to download your certificate before your licenses are revoked. The second thing that I would like to touch on, which is um, the reason why you have to share your success stories with your coordinators. One is it serves as a form of motivation. I believe as human beings, um, there are some who actually need motivation to be able to learn due to one or two reasons as a result of their workload, school activities, and as a result are not able to complete their courses even after they receive certificates. As a result, sharing your success stories with learners um, helps us to be able to complete help us to be able to share these sorts of stories others who are finding difficult to be able to complete their courses. 
and as a result, we can all complete uh, much of the courses in general. And the second thing has team spirit building. Imagine if we have close to thousand licenses and at the end of the cohort we tend to get about 200 people completing and receiving their licenses as individuals we would have done very well but when we are assessed as a country we could see that we have not actually taken full advantage of the program now it is important as learners to be able to assist and help each other in the sense that you would be able to inform a particular person who has also taken the same course or taking the same course that you completed that okay do this do that as a result you'll be able to complete your course pass and have your certificates so it is very important to help each other as learners let us all pull ourselves together i could see on the platform there are times people will send their messages finding challenges and some of you who have actually taken courses are also silent without being able to help our system. I'm sure some of you do that back door, but um, it is very important to be able to help each other. Let us build a team spirit together to be able to have majority of us complete courses online. Because mind you, the number of courses we complete depends the licenses that we receive for the following year. The third thing has to do with um, your success stories help us to be able to identify your struggles and um, your ability to be able to overcome them and to achieve your successes. This helps us to be able to also help others who take up certain courses and are finding it difficult to be able to tell them that, okay, if you are taking X or Y course, do X or do Y to be able to complete um, your course and receive your certificate. So it is very, very important to also share your um, success stories. As by so doing, we, 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 we are able to appreciate your struggles and your achievements and also know how best to serve you and others who might find themselves in that same challenge due to a particular course they took or as a result of other issues concerning on the courses, example verification challenges, etc. To this end, I would like to say congratulations to each and everyone who had the opportunity to join this program, this third cohort. Uh, I wish you all the best. We are left close to 67 to 67 years. This to the completion of this course. Huh probably even less of our cohort. So I would like to encourage you all through this video to take advantage of this program and learn and complete your courses. Don't forget to share success stories with your coordinators as this helps us to be able to know how best to assist you and others and to serve the general public in general. Thank you. Okay. Um, I hope you heard something. The, the voice was quite uh, low, but I'm hoping that you heard something uh, from our project, our project manager. Right. The next thing that you want to go on is showing you how to share your success story. I'm going to do that one, so I'm going to share my screen again. Please, whilst I'm going through that one, uh, it's just some five last slides, so it won't take that much time. But whilst we are going through that one, we will call on any one of you to share your success with us. That's after the slide, because this is a training, so by the time you finish, uh, you should be able to share your um, success story with us. Um, but before I do that, if you have anything to say concerning what the project manager said, you can um, raise up your hand, we call you.
Anybody? Right. So I'm trying to share my screen. I'm trying to share my screen and on, on how to share your, your success story. Just picking it from the drive. Aziz, if you have joined us, kindly let us hear from you. Project coordinator from. Hello, Mr. Aziz, if you have joined us, um, just let us hear from you. Okay, so just let me go. Uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen, and then we start with that one. How to share um, a success story? Yeah. Mister Aziz, you are here. Thank you, Marco. All right, thank you for joining. Finally. Uh, my presentation is still loading. But if you see my screen, kindly um, let me know. Kindly let me know if you can see my screen. Yeah, I can see it. Thank you very much for the feedback. It's very helpful. For some reason, my internet is kind of slowing down. Okay, so this five slide is to show you how to how to share your story. For most, for some of you who have shared your success stories with us, you find this uh, not so new, but it's just something that is on the slide. MTN network, man. MTN, 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 MTN. Okay, I'll pick it from here. from the beginning. Oh, this thing is taking too long. I think I'll just um, do it from this side. Okay, so uh, we use a very simple format to share our success story. We have the text with picture one, 
and then we have audio with picture, and then we have video. That's if you want to share your sessions. It, can, it should come in any of these formats. If you're comfortable with just the text and then you adding your picture to it, that's fine. If you are comfortable with recording an audio with your picture, we will take it. And also recording an entire video for us. We will gladly accept that one too. So these are the four uh, three formats that you can um, choose from. Um, this is how you share your success story. I've made it in three parts. The first part is more like your introduction. So you talk about yourself, not necessarily that's too much, but you share about you. That's your name, your profession, and how you heard about the project. Um, we have read to skill. We have those in YEC, that's the youth engagement. We have those in ready to work, those who are learning on APSA. Those who are learning on APSA, I'm sure we are going to get some of you who have joined from um, APSA, APSA learners. So um, that, that one, if where you had the project, the project from or the program from, you talk about it. Um, your profession, you could be a student. So if you touch on your profession, or maybe if you talk about you being a student, we would like to know the course that you are reading, the level that you are, and probably the institution that you are uh, learning, learning with, or the institution that you are a student. If you are a worker, we want to know your maybe who you are, and then what you do, and with which institution, if you would like to share that one, we will gladly accept that one too. So that is it about the first part. And the second part is some courses that you have completed. You know, you are, a lot of you have completed many courses. Others, you have completed just one. You can just mention one or two, the courses. And then um, the third part of your story is your impact. So the best way is to break it into before and then after. I will talk about the appreciation later. But what we want you to say at that part, that's the part three, before you completed the course, what couldn't you do? What you couldn't do, or maybe what you didn't know, and after completing the course, then what can you do now? So that will bring the impact. That will bring the um, impact. So that is the before and after, so that we get to know, okay, before you did this, but now we know this, what you have done with it. And then the appreciation part is where um, you express your appreciation for this project, that if you appreciate it, you can express it. I'm sure all of you will appreciate it. You can appreciate the Ghana Library Authority for offering you the license or the Commonwealth of Learning for being part of the project. And then also, if you are learning from APSA, you appreciate them too, with the Ghana Library Authority. And sometimes we would like you to add some encouragement for your friends. The, the reason of we organizing this whole thing is that it helps to encourage your peers. Because some of you, um, we know the work schedules. I've been working with most of you. I know you people are busy with school. Sometimes you are writing exams and all that. Some of you too, professional wise, you are working and it's very difficult for you to uh, kind of competing um, for time with your learning online. So we appreciate all those things that you are doing if you're able to complete a course. But you know, there are others too who also have the same or maybe similar reasons why they are not completing courses. So if you share your story and then they get to know, oh, okay, so this guy is also a student like me. We all have these heavy schedules, but this guy has made it. Probably you connect with you and then find out how you are able to uh, make it. So that is um, with the appreciation and you adding a kind of an encouragement. Now, when you have your text ready, if you want to take picture, um, you can just take a portrait. So the picture should be a portrait, but if you want video, that's the third option. If you want to video, which that's what we really want, but um, there are some people that they wouldn't want to make the video, but if you are making a video, what you want to do is we want you to hold your 
or camera in a, in a horizontal that's landscape as in this picture and then also make sure there's no much noise there will probably be some sound at the background but we don't want much noise that will overshadow what you're saying and then the camera should capture only your face to just below your chest just like in this um, picture this lady has already given us a success story when you are taking a photo it should be portrait so it will be um, vertical and then your picture should be clear and presentable because it is probably going to the public domain if not on the Ghana Library Authority website, it will be on Commonwealth um, website or any other partners that we have, their website. Or probably, if it is not going to be in, on any website, it will be on a presentation. Maybe there will be a presentation on the success. When they meet, they will show it publicly for people to see what you are showing us. So your, your picture should be a presentable one that you want it's in public. So these are a few things that I want to share with you. Um, how often should I share my success story? Do it once. Uh, some of you are, have completed more than one or two courses. If you give us just a success story for one, it's okay. At least we have your success story. The rest, we, we are not going to disturb you on that. Especially those who are learning in, uh, they are, they've taken courses in specializing courses like Google IT support and all that. Just once, you give us one success story, we are done. And then when should I share my success story? Usually when you complete a course, then you can share your success story. That's what we want. So of course, some of you may be on it and may have a success, but we really want to you want those who have been able to complete a course and even downloaded the certificate for and then you share your success with us who should i share my success story with um share it with your project coordinator but uh we have some learners that when me i meet them back door i tell them to post it into the group because that is actually going to encourage more learners so for example if you share your success story with my experience since 2019 working with this project what i've observed is that when a learner posts a success into the group i get more um, other learners to increase their pace in learning and so if they have challenges they're able to post it into the group and then they they get the help so how long should be the filming? Give us a maximum of five minutes. One, two, three, four, five minutes is okay for us. You know, sometimes um, WhatsApp is not able to take a certain, uh, let me say, a size of, of, of files. So Telegram is best. But if you don't have Telegram, still work with your coordinator. We always have options to um, take the success story, the videos from you. So this is what I have. The rest will be questions for you to ask and then we will respond. So this ends um, the presentation on how to share your success um, story. Thank you very much. Okay, so if you have any questions, um, you can ask before we call on any one of you to share your success story. Um, courage. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, okay. I've been on and off for quite some time now, but I actually grabbed uh, everything you just said. Okay. And I uh my success i'm a student though i'm a student i'm a level right. 200 student i've been level 300 maybe next semester and um i just completed a google uh, data analytics course and i'm now on uh, the ibm data analytics course currently on my fifth course right now hoping to finish before uh, the program ends and i wanted to ask about the uh 
how do I put it? The success story, what you were saying. Yes. So, uh, when when is the right time to do it? And when you create a video or use the picture and write something brief on it, like how are you going to share it? Is it to the WhatsApp group or how how do you how does it reach you? How should uh, our success story reach you? Because I haven't okay. had any actually. All right. So um, you are a learner and you are in a in, a, in a university. Which which um, region are you joining from? I'm in Greater Accra. Greater Accra. So you have a coordinator. Her name is Harriet. I don't Harriet. know whether you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Her. So you can share it with Harriet. Mm, okay. Yes. And an ideal way also is to post it into the group because um, we use it to drive learning. Yeah. We use it to drive learning. We have a lot of licenses in Ghana for Ghanaians, and um, few have few have completed courses. Your success story can encourage them to also take advantage of the license that they have. So share it with Harriet, or you can just post it into the group and Harriet will pick it up. Okay. Hello. Right. Um, we are taking like two other questions before we move on. Yeah, please, another question. Oh, okay. Uh, how long is the program ending? Oh, it's um, something, something this something. one, this one, this one is going to, this one is going to end in 31st okay. December. Okay, so here is the thing. The project will, will be the one we call Read to Scale. Yeah. It's going to end in 2024. 2024, okay. Yes, but your batch, the learners, yeah. they come in batches. So when you receive a license, it's a six month um, yeah. span. Yours yeah. is going to end in 31st December to give yeah. way to the fourth batch of learners. Probably an invitation or uh, uh, an application will be opened for those who want to apply. Okay, and say you applied for this, my current one right now, are you eligible to apply for another? Of course what you are. Okay. You are eligible, but okay. we really want to give opportunity to That's others. Really. But if the others are not applying, of course you can apply. Felix, please uh, unmute yourself. All right. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is Felix. Anyway, uh, I would like to know with the issue of the verification. I think most of us are having issues with the with the verification. I I don't know, but <laughs> it's been very difficult. And we all know how passport issues are in this our country. Is there any way? we could uh, get a chance to use the Ghana card. Because at the end of the day, if, even if you are going for a passport, they will still request for your, for your Ghana card. OK. All right, so it's good that you have asked this in the, at the national level of this meeting. Uh, for my learners, they know. Are you, are you calling from, are you joining from Accra or Central? Yes. Or yes. Yes, I'm in Accra and I just finished the Google data analytics and I'm actually on the capstone for the project management. But because I'm really I'm finding it difficult to uh, download the certificate, I'm actually demotivated right now because I don't know if I'll be able to get my. Then no, let me give you a history, just a short history. This project started somewhere in 2020 with the Coursera one. When it started, Ghanaians were able to verify with any government issued ID, any government issued ID. They were able to verify with the Ghana card. And I think I chose on some students who were able to verify with their student ID. Interestingly, you have um, the license to your uh, vehicle license. You can do that. But in the course of it, something happened and suddenly Ghanaians were not able to verify the ID with the, um, the Ghana card and any other government issued ID as, except the, the, the passport document, except the passport document. So for the whole of 2020, 2021 there, we were doing this back and forth with Coursera to work for work and so that Ghanaians will be able to verify with any other um, government issue aside, aside the, um, 
the passport. But uh, this thing proved futile because what happened was that whenever Ghanaians tried to verify with that um, ID, the Ghana card, the verification wizard is not able to pick the information on it well. And a lot of, a lot of Ghanaians were sending in um, issues to Coursera support. And when they trace that they all these issues, they, they are common and they all, they, all of them are coming from Ghana. So the information they gave was that the passport works for Ghanaians. So we should just stick to only, uh, only the passport. So that one is no. So they've closed that issue. Ghanaians, you people should um, verify with passport because that one works than the others. Now, what we do is that this license is given to you in a six month span. So the moment you join, we tell you that if you are enrolling in a specialization course, it is not every course that they require ID verification, but if you are enrolling in a specialization course like the Google IT and the analytics, the one that you are talking about, that one will require ID verification. So just start the process. You have a whole six month, start the process, com continue with the courses. The, the, when you finish, and then you receive your passport, you can use it to verify and you receive all your, um, your, your certificates. Issue ID um, passport in Ghana, you know, you can just apply for passport online and the amount is just 100 cities. Now, probably you talk about uh, it wouldn't come early or you don't need it urgently because you have a whole six months to, um, get your passport and apply. It is when you need the passport urgently, maybe this this week or maybe in, a, in four, um, maybe four days time that you need to, you know, pass through certain process that you're going to pay huge sums of money. But the amount is actually um, 100 cities and then you wait for it, pass through the process and you get it and use it to uh, verify your ID. So that is it with that. Okay, so uh, I I they have uh, the information you just gave. So yes. in my mind, I thought maybe just verification. I can use any ID to verify. Mm. So it was after I completed the analytics course, an analytics program. Then I wanted to download the certificate. That's when I got to know that I have to use my passport. All right. Okay. And so. Then, it's not too late. Michael, it's not too late. Initiate the process. Now, one thing is that with this, your account, your Coursera account is with Coursera, it's not with Commonwealth of Learning. So when your license expires, it wouldn't terminate your Coursera account. It's, you still have your account with Coursera and then your accomplishment is still there. When you receive your passport, you use it to verify. Okay. You get mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if that's if that's possible, then I don't have any problem. It, it, it's possible, but I want you to initiate the process. Okay. Yes, initiate the process. Francis, okay. Francis, please unmute yourself and then, yeah. Hi, Matt. Well, good evening, down. everyone. Good evening. Uh, thank you for conducting this session. My name is Francis. I'm joining in from Accra. So I'm doing the project management course and I was able to do the verification successfully with my passport. However, after completing the first module, I realized there's a, a change in my name. It is minor, but it's significant because uh, I have a hyphen in my name that it's not appearing there. I've read about the name change and all of that and I've followed the process um, on Coursera, but I'm unable to change it. So I was wondering if you can give me a guide on how to change that. Thank you. Have you shared this with um, your coordinator, um, Harriet? Uh, no, please, I haven't done that. Please share it with her uh, and she will follow it up for you and you get it resolved. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Amos. Amos, please unmute yourself. Maxwell, Amos, we hardly hear you. Maxwell, can you hear me? Your voice is far away. Maxwell, can you hear me? I can hear. Okay, you go ahead. I will come. Uh, 
Maxwell. Maxwell. Yes, very yeah. clear now. Yeah. Very clear now. Okay, thank you. Maxwell, um, please, um, I got the invitation on the 7th September. Does it mean my subscription ends on the 31st or does it extend too much? Thank you. All right. So if you are part of this cohort, we are all in third batch of learning and it is going to end in 31st. Uh, even though you got it in September, it has been sent already. Probably you were followed up on or you saw the message um, late, but it has been sent already. So it's still 31st. Now concerning um, deadline, um, deadline extension, I cannot guarantee that. What I can say, I don't want to say it, but I have to, is that Common world has this behavior of extending deadlines, but don't count on it. Don't count on it. So Amos, um, it is 31st. Even if you receive it in September, you saw it in September, it is 31st, it's going to end. Okay, Daniel. Daniel, please yeah. unmute yourself. Okay. Um, I saw my message somewhere early this year, but I realized the message was sent last year. So when I'm doing the courses on uh, this one, Coursera, mm. I'm not able to finish the last piece for each chapter, I'm not able to finish the final quiz. I'm being asked to, I'm being asked to jo uh, pay, do some payments before I am able to assess it by Coursera. But right. I keep going ahead to do it though. So I'm, I want to know, is it because maybe my license has expired or? Exactly, so your license expired a long time before you even saw it. Um, you are supposed to be checking your email. I think you have to also receive a call from the coordinator. Um, and when you check your email to, some of you don't usually check your email. So you follow up with calls. So probably maybe your number two was probably off at that time and she couldn't reach you. So, well, I would say sorry about that. And the, ne the, the best thing you can do is to wait for the fourth batch of learners and then you apply. Because this one, if you want scholarship, or if you want to complete a course, you have to pay. I don't know your pocket, but if you can pay, fine. But if there is sponsorship, you can just hold on and then apply for sponsorship. And then um, you, when you receive it, you can just continue. But what you have now, there is no way they are going to allow you to complete and then receive certificates. Probably you can get the knowledge and the skills from it, but you won't receive certificates if you want certificates for something. Certificates are very important. So um, maybe you wait, follow us on Ghana Library Authority and all our social media handles. And when applications are open and you apply. Thank you very much. You're welcome. OK. Rahima to Ahmed. Is this the Rahimatu that I know? Rahimatu, please unmute yourself and then. Hello, Samas. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Is this the Rahimatu that I know already? Yes, yeah, same Rahimatu. Thank you for joining the meeting. You're welcome. Okay, so I haven't done any course. I haven't participated in any program at the end. Yes. It's rather unfortunate, but then I want to try this time and how do I go about it? I want to start. How do I? Um, I've seen you on our pages. It means are you not learning in any of our evening ready to work with school Coursera, Udemy? None of them. Yes, please. Oh, that's interesting. All right. So what we do is that you wait, follow us um, on our social media handle. Applications will be opened soon, and then okay. you can apply. Okay. Thank you. Patrick, please, if I mention your name, there is Mr. or Miss or Mrs. because I 
don't really see your faces. So, Patrick, please oh, unmute evening. yourself. All right, thank you. So, my question is that um, at the end of each um, course or the program, uh, whether you take project management or IT support, um, as part of the resources that we are provided, we are being given the opportunity to sign up for a job platform, right? But unfortunately for most of us, um, the availability is in the United States alone. So uh, my question is that, um, is there any arrangement or are we thinking about something in the future that will give uh, the course completers the opportunity to also have um, the chance to maybe um, practice what they've learned maybe and have a project like that going on where students that have completed can also have a job platform that they can also apply to and then have the opportunity to, you know, actually practice what they've learned. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Bridget, please, can you take this one? Hello, Bridget, are you there? Can you take this for me? Can you repeat his question again? At a point, I didn't hear him again. I heard him asking whether there is a chance of they getting some outside something. Patrick, please like repeat it. your question and make it um, short for us directly. Okay, so the question was um, at the end of the course, we have the opportunity to sign up on the job platform. But it is said that you have to be in the United States. So I'm asking if um, those in Ghana here can also have the chance to you know, get on a job platform where the student can also practice what they've learned by getting an actual job. So if I'm getting you right, is it about using the certificate to get a job at the United States? Um, no, but that? actually, good to use it, but we can't be in the United States because um, the job platform says that you have to be in the US. So I'm asking if there's any arrangement or there's something done that can, you know, give the student the opportunity to also use it here in Ghana. Maxwell, I still don't get this question. <laughs> All right, so Patrick, so I think that it's all about you applying for job, right? Now, the Ghana Library Authority doesn't have any um, arrangement that they will come in or maybe bridge the gap between you and you getting a job uh, with an employee, uh, an employer in Ghana. But there are a lot of employers in Ghana and they are looking for people with your, um, let me say, caliber people who have skills like you, right? Now you applying for it, the Ghana Library Authority doesn't come in. So you use this certificate to apply for it in Ghana here. For the US one that you are talking about, they have their own system that they've set up. And you can also apply it over there. You know, there are some of these um, online jobs that they request uh, there are jobs for people in the whole world so wherever that you are probably will give you a visa sponsorship and then you go there are that, those ones but if you are talking about Ghana here i know that the employers over there they will require your certificate the one that you have and then they will require maybe a cv a certain background academic proficient and all that that is between you and the employer but the Ghana library authority doesn't come in here do you get my point Okay, so um, yes. maybe to add to it, maybe what I would say is if you are looking at working outside the country and then maybe you need some support or something, I think for now you should be looking at working remotely. Providing yes. what you've studied uh -huh, is something that you can do remotely. I think for now, because there are a lot of people that are working remotely, they, they have the company somewhere and then they are somewhere doing their own thing. So. If you're really looking at maybe using the certificate to get a job or something, then I think you should also look at the channel of working remotely. And then 
Fortunately, you can get some companies whereby they really need you that badly, and then they will sponsor you to come into that place. So, for that one, when it comes to maybe sponsorship or something to travel outside the country or something, <laughs> that library doesn't come in like that. The authority will not come in. It's between the best that you could do is to connect you to knowledge resource, and that's the sponsorship that you received. Are you okay, please? It's okay. your question answered. Sure. So you have to start doing serious research about this if you want to work remote. All right. Um, okay, so Raima, if you've already asked your question, you can put your hand down. We want to call one of you. Um, please volunteer. Share your success story here with us. Um, as you listened and you watched how you presented the, the the slides on how you can share your success story, we just need one volunteer. Raise up your hand. Share your success with us. I'm very glad if it will come from Accra, or maybe Eastern Region, or maybe Upper East or Upper West. Yes, we have one. Then it's Kodu Aite Ayete. Sorry if I don't pronounce it well. Please unmute yourself. Share your success with us. Yes, it's Ayete. Ayete, okay. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Dennis uh, Kojo Ayete. I'm a Sage 300 uh, implementation consultant at the same time a system support. So uh, the program I know started way back 2020 during the during the COVID or after the COVID or so uh, my yes. employer posted it in our staff group because we we're working by uh, as home by then. Uh -huh. So I immediately signed up. That was the first cohort. I started with the uh, IT support because most of my job when uh, you implement software, even though when you go to a client site, the IT has to set up everything and then you just have to go implement your software. Some of the clients, they don't have any IT personnel, so you have to be the IT for them. So the IT support, it helped me a lot. Yes, when it comes to the Active Directory, uh, permission setup, and everything on server. Uh -huh. Most of the times, I'm not much conversant with uh, the servers, but the Google IT support. And then it also helped me, uh, their first model, which is a, the technical support fundamental, okay. it's helped me to communicate with uh, clients who call for support. It also did the uh, IT support, they can, uh, they can attest to that. Whenever maybe a client calls that, okay, I have an issue here. Yeah, I learned how to ask questions. You start uh, asking questions, and based on the answers that the client gives you, that is when you can diagnose a problem. Know that okay, maybe there's an issue with maybe the active directory, or there's an issue with the IIS and stuff. So it really helped me. However, it took me two years to complete the IT support. Two years. Because uh, COVID came. Yeah, COVID came, a whole lot of things happened. So maybe I may do one model and I'll break for some months. I'll do the other model, I'll break for some months. There was company restructuring. So it came to that I have to put it on hold. But thankfully, even though it has part, I applied again and had. So the technical support, I completed it this year. I completed it this year. And then after that, I did a Google uh, Data Analytics. Yeah, but that one I dedicated my time to finish it. So with the Google analysis, I started with April and then completed it in September. So now I'm working on the Google IT automation with Python. So so far so good. It has helped me mostly in my work because apart from the technical bit, I also do with reports. So at least now I know how to use Tableau, how to use uh, Power BI. In a base, how to use a big query and some SQL, uh, but they seem to do stuff. So, yeah, so far, so good. That is how I uh, benefited from this. Uh, Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. So my last is Google mm-hmm. IT automation of Python, which I've started in is very, very interesting. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for sharing this. All right. So, you know, um, I don't want to assess you, but I think you did well following the format. It was left with the appreciation aspects. You didn't bring that one. Oh, okay. I told you I said thank you. Okay, so you need to mention names, you know, make make it nice, the appreciation aspects. All right. So I thank uh, Ghana Library Authority so much for this uh, for this year because during the COVID, I believe it helps some people because I know that some people were out of job. Yes, and I realized that uh, now there's the competition in the global content. That's my brother was talking about remote work. And then with this, I believe with this, I had the skills that I can compete with another person in the US also. So I thank the Ghana Library Authority for bringing this up because it's really, 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 for me personally, it's really, really hold me my uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful. So um, we want to end this meeting. Uh, we would like some of the coordinators to give their remarks and then we end it. We are left with just some few minutes to end. But Roxon, I'm going to give you one minute to say what you want to say and then uh, coordinators will come in. So Roxon, I saw your hand up. Yeah, actually, good evening. I um, actually wanted to also add my success story, but I think I would have to send a video instead. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Are you from okay. Accra, Accra or Upper East? Yeah, East? Accra. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. So do that for us. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So, All right. Uh, okay. it. Your, 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 your comments, um, and then we end this. Okay. I hope I did so... around. Yes, okay. Bridget, please continue. Mm. So I think in all, I will just say that um, those of us that have gotten this opportunity to study on this platform, we should make good use of it and then we shouldn't let it go waste because when we accept a license and we are unable to complete a course, it goes against the authority because whatever license you accept, we've already settled there. We've already paid for it. So when you happen to accept a license and then you're unable to complete your course, you make us run at a loss. So please, those of us on the platforms, let's try our possible best to be able to complete courses and then help raise the name of Ghana because it's not only in Ghana that we are having this project, it goes across. So when we are accepting and then we are unable to complete courses, Ghana happens to fall below the line, but when you accept and then we are able to also complete their courses, it lifts us up as well. So we know, I think, I wish everyone the best and then enjoy, 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 enjoy with Enjoy your sponsorship. Enjoy your... <laughs> enjoy your sponsor. yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you, Bridget. Uh, I'm hurry. Um, okay. Jamil. Yeah, I forgot. And then, um, hello, we can also visit our library portal, yes. um, the library website. We have a lot of interesting things going on there. So you can talk to your coordinator or any other person and then visit our library website and then view some of the things that is going on at the library. Thank you. Um, Harriet, Harriet, your comment and within just some 30 seconds and then we end this. I want to go and sleep. Okay, I would love to thank everyone for uh, joining but then i also like to encourage them to be checking their meals often sometimes from what i observe most people have received the invites without knowing so i love to encourage them to be checking their meals since you want to learn online you should be checking your meal especially with COL and ghana library authority so i like to wish them all Okay, okay, thank you, Harriet. So, Harriet, the lady who just spoke is the coordinator for Greater Accra. 
I want to those in Accra just be engaging with her much often. Um, thank you very much. Aziz, if you're around, let's hear your comment and then we end this. I mean, as it is not around. All right. In that case, I want to thank you for making time. We are very, very grateful. Please, you are on WhatsApp groups. I want you to engage the group, the people in the group. It is not, it's just a community. So if anybody, if you have a problem, you have issue, just post it there. And you get people who are supporting. It's not always the coordinator who will come and support. So the coordinator will be more like the last resort to your issue. So if you have any challenge, take a screenshot, describe it, post it in your group and look for help. People have completed courses that you are struggling with. They will come and then support you. Try and visit any library authority that is close to you. There is this youth engagement center that has been created for you. It's a very nice place. We have access to computers, access to free internet connectivity. It is free. So you go there, have access, and then you can Take your online courses wherever that you go in Accra, uh, maybe Accra Central, Kumasi, Ashanti, Central Region, Winneba, um, Eastern Region, Koforidia. You will find um, some of uh, you find a youth engagement center then that you can use if you have issues with data. Um, they will give you free internet if you don't have access to computer or handset device to take your courses. They have access to laptops over there that you can use. Um, on that note, good night, everyone. Thank you for making it. Bye. Good night and thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.